Thank you so much for joining me. In this video segment, I'm going to be exploring the impact of intermolecular forces um, on uh, how substances react or interact with internally and externally. So you can think of it as an internal compared to an external attraction and the impact of comparing those two. So with uh, surface area, surface tension, and it's pretty cool if you've never done this, to take a penny and see how many drops of water you can fit on it. Um, because water has a high surface tension, it's like on the edges, it's like, oh, hold on to me, hold on to me. And, and it's hesitant to leave the surface. So it has a high surface tension and it'll pull in on itself a lot of internal attractions and you can actually get way more drops than you ever think you could on that. And as intermolecular forces increase, the surface tension increases. So when we look at internal uh, attractions, internal forces attractions would be called cohesive. So we would have cohesive inside. How much water is attracted to water and wants to stray, stay together? So that would be kind of the internal force, not kind of, that is the internal force of attraction. All right, now then we can look at the attraction of water for whatever container it's in. It's external attraction. Those would be called adhesive forces of attraction. The water molecules would adhere to the glass. Now, if cohesion um, is greater than adhesion, you would have a convex. Mercury tends to do a convex. It wants to stay to itself. It's not attracted to the container very much. Here, with water, what you would see is a concave meniscus. So we would have a concave meniscus. With mercury, we would have a convex meniscus, and you would read it at the top of the meniscus. With water, we always read at the bottom of the meniscus. And water's desire to kind of squeak up the sides of the container results in something called capillary action. If the tube is thin enough, so if I took a very, very thin tube and I touched it to a drop of water, that water will be attractive. There will be strong adhesive forces to the glass and the water will quickly suck up the glass. Okay, so that gives you an indication of just the broad applications of intermolecular forces and their properties. Thanks for joining me for this quick little application.